Okay, so another small update because sometimes I just have to give these. Um, apart from all the other things that I have to do in this weekend, which include cleaning that shit. Uh, I have been working on videos. I've been working on an intro for the videos so that I can start them. Um, it's pretty lame, so it's perfect. Uh, I just have to add that to the videos, then edit the videos, and then make a whole new voiceover because the one that I made sucked. So that's gonna take a while. But hopefully I'll be able to up upload something on Monday. And bi-weekly every week from that. So that one weekend I'll have to spend on people. Because apparently people really want to talk to me and stuff. So yeah, gotta do that. Also, I have like family and shit. Thank you. So now I'm entertaining the cat, and uh, he's ready to go. Why aren't you jumping? Come on, come on, come on. Yo, good, good boy, good boy. Yeah. So, and that isn't really working if you're recording a video, so I'm going to stop that. But then at least, you know, I am working on shit. Actually, I also want to say that, um, about, well, my computer is working, uh, well, normally again. It's not perfect, but I think most of the problems that it has now is just installing Windows again. Because Windows is so shitty that every now and then you just have to reinstall all of Windows. For no no damn reason, but I'm holding off on it because it means you have to make a backup and stuff like that, and that takes a lot of time, time I don't have, so that, but at least it's good enough to edit videos. Um, and I've had a lot of problems with my phone and my Cintiq. Uh, I may or may not have talked about it before, but, but my Cintiq had some... Uh, ghosting image slash burn-ins problems, which in the type of screen that the Cintiq has is actually called um, persistent image something tr transient trans transient image persistence that's it and it's very annoying very very annoying especially when it happens after like 15-20 minutes and you're supposed to be drawing and giving output, you know, getting stuff done. And then after 15 minutes, your computer says, here, have a completely red screen. Have fun, bye. And yeah, it's red in my case, even though I've read on the internet, it's usually like grayish. But for some reason, it's now red. So... So that's annoying. So. Uh, and on top of that, every time it opens uh, in the, its normal mode, so not com not connected to the, co the computer, it um, it turns out to be a little bit yellow every now and then. Like the pixels give a yellowish light and stuff like that. And that's really weird. And I looked it up, and it only happens in cheap monitors. So you buy an expensive thingy. And you get a cheap monitor. Th thanks, Wakem. Thanks. And the first thing is also not something that's supposed to happen after like 15 minutes, but it's supposed to happen after 10 hours of continued use. And I've never used the Cintiq for 10 hours or to have the screen turned on for 10 hours in a row because the Cintiq turns off after some time. You know, the screen, it just turns off. It's, it's called Save Your PC. People do it. But uh, yeah, my normal problems, my normal screens never have this problem, and they're on all the time. So uh, I don't know why this is happening to the Cintiq. I sent it back. They fixed it. They said they fixed it, but even though it's better, it's still not good enough. Like now, the burn-in happens after two hours, one or two hours. Which is still not much, and it's it's only a little bit of burn, which is good, 
But it's still, you know, it's not supposed to happen with a very expensive tablet or its tablet. So that's why I just keep telling people get the cheap stuff because let, let's be honest, if you're going to spend a lot of money to get a broken device, why? Why would you do that? That's just a waste of money. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Wakem, but this is not this is not what I expected for quality. So that's the problem with the Cintiq. Pretty much unfixed. I think what I think it should be is just the screen should be replaced. Just a completely new screen in there because it's definitely in the pixels themselves. Oh, whoops. I am a doof. At least one of my friends always called me calls me a doofus, so. Well cat, can you do can you undo this for me? Because I, I don't know how to do this with one hand. I also hit my thumb, so drawing is a pain in the butt. It hurts. It hurts pretty quickly and I just have to stop to make sure I don't get in a permanent injury. It's it's only a muscle, so it should be fine. Uh doctor says like one or two weeks. One week has passed, so one more week, people. It's already just less, it's just that it, when I use it, it hurts, so I should not do that. Yeah, I'm an artist, I want to use my hands. I love using my hands to do all kinds of sorts of stuff. And then there is the problem with the phone I keep having. I bought a phone, the OnePlus 3T, because everybody says it's an amazing phone, and when I opened it, it was an amazing phone, except for one little detail. Like, for the rest, everything is great. The The operating system is marvelous. Like, it's beautiful. It's just perfect. The quality is perfect. The, um... The, um... The look is perfect. It's beautiful. Like, it has all the functions that you would need on a phone. It's beautiful. It's perfect. Except that my phone apparently arrived with defect in the bottom half of the screen like the not not even the half like a tiny bit little piece at the bottom of the screen was unresponsive so i had to send it back actually i thought it could be a software error but i tried a whole bunch of things like wiping catches and f resetting to factory defa defaults and stuff like that and didn't work it would actually be quite alarming if this would be um, fixed by those kind of things because that means you can easily fuck it up yourself. But it's not working and um, unfortunately it looks a little bit like what I have with my tablet. And my tablet is just a really cheap quality and that's why it happened. It just randomly stopped uh, recognizing one part of the screen for certain buttons like not everything but certain things just stopped being recognized and something like that was happening here too it's not exactly the same but a little bit and I had to send it back so I sent it back and then UP UPS completely they just lost my package and they have been for six days not including uh, weekends because this is the second weekend actually so it's one weekend and now we're going over the second weekend so in total it would be six, seven eight nine ten days plus the two days because they need eight business days to try to find the package or something like that so eight nine ten eleven twelve so in total you can wait twelve days and then still not know if you're if, if you're ever going to get anything again because, you know, UPS, what do they care about me and my phone? So they lost my phone, and they're taking eight days to do an investigation, while we all already know that by the sixth day, if you cannot find the package, it's gone. You won't be able to find it. And if you are trying to find who is responsible, well, first of all, it's not me, because I left the package, and then it's not my concern anymore, so it's not my fault the uh, the paper to scan in was um, on top of the package which the person that I gave it to can confirm that person knows so we already know it's not my fault so why should I suffer and why should I care 
just tell the people from OnePlus, hey, we lost the package, give that guy a new one, because we're not going to find it. It's been six days, we're not going to find it. And if they don't find it, then that means OnePlus can send me a replacement and gets money from UPS, because UPS, if you lose it, you buy it. So, buy me a new phone, bitches. So, and that's probably where they're stuck here, because OnePlus is like, Hey, you guys, you owe us money big time. You lost the package and that stuff in there, because it was sent to us for repair, so it was ours at that moment. So, you know, it's like, you guys stole it. Give us the money. There's probably police involved and shit like that. But yeah, um, they did um, lose the package. So, they did, um, they do own, owe money to people, left or right. We already know that. There is no investigation needed. It's, it's not necessary, because we already know the answer. UPS owes people money big time, and they need to pay for it. It's not my fault, because I packed it in, and I packed it in well. Because let's, come on, let's be honest. I put it in a box. So that it couldn't be lost. The box was a little bit bigger. There was stuff inside to make sure that it stayed well. Uh, there was light stuff, but you know, to make sure it doesn't move, so it doesn't break on the on the way, because it doesn't need to be broken even more than it already is. So uh, UPS uh, did it because they were the last one to touch it. They, they actually have a confirmation on their website that it is in their, um, uh, in their little place in Amsterdam where they, they have a place in Amsterdam where they get all the stuff, I think, from either around Amsterdam or the whole, uh, whole, whole of Netherlands. I have no idea. But it was there at some point. So it should have been there and... Uh, that means that it was already out of my hands so and from that moment on it transported to the country that it needed to be transported in and there they realized they couldn't find the package so something happened along the way if it fell out of the truck which is also a possibility that's too bad but you're never going to find it not in these eight days not in six days not in eight days not in 20 days and i just have a limited time because if they are going to pursue we're not going to give your money back i need to uh get it back somehow because i'm not going to be uh 400 euros lighter without a phone that's just impossible they cannot do that they shouldn't do that because first of all, it wasn't my responsibility anymore. They lost it. I am renting so much. You can just turn off the, the sound and just watch this cat if you want to. Meow. Look at this cute cat. Yes. He's mad at me because I haven't been home much because I had to work and stuff. He loves now playing. So now he finally gets to play and he loves it. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is the one that keeps wa running away, huh? This little mouse, this pink mouse. You're being a lazy cat. Sometimes I wish I could put, couldn't let you go outside because you get so much more. Yeah, I don't know if this cat wants to go outside because when I put him outside, he shoots back inside. And when I open the door, he's just like there, I want to go outside. And then he keeps trying to go outside. It's, uh, it's a piece of crap. Yeah, I was going to go to my parents to visit them, which is a bit far away. So I got all this stuff. But it turned out that for some reason, my card wasn't in the right configuration. So I couldn't travel unless it cost me a lot of money I don't have. So, crap. Yeah, I'm a bad person. I have money to buy a new phone, but not to... Oh, come on, people. This phone that I'm using right now is so old that my... Ad yeah, I'm not going to say that on the internet. <laughs> but it's it's old, and 
maybe you can think up for yourself what kind of problems that would give. Because it does give problems, trust me. At least it, it records videos and put them on YouTube. That's 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 great. I'm not sure if I want that, but it's great. Yeah. Look at him going wild. Kitty goes wild. I should rename this video Kitty Goes Wild and Stupid Person Rants on the Background. I'm not a stupid person, but you know, clickbait. <laughs> he knows. He knew. Alright, alright. I'm going to stop now because otherwise this video is way too long.